Hey, what's going on, guys? And it's been been a while since I made a video, or actual audio, but um, I want to make this video to help clarify and explain a few things. Um, so I'm sure most of you know that I made this uh, common ice in 333 year havoc cycle video series. This is part one. There's part two. There's part three. And I made a bunch of videos after that. Um, <clears throat> but today I made a, a, my latest video earlier today 4.45 my time um, what common license is being at, looked at by NASA in an infrared field by its uh, special 747 um, Sophia infrared camera basically what it is is a 747 that is equipped with a 2.5 meter infrared um, camera which can only be seen in certain fields which can't be seen from uh, ground based telescopes because the uh, the atmosphere and it depletes the uh, images so you, you have to fly at high altitudes with the 747 to be able to get good uh, a view of this infrared field so what NASA has been doing is on, uh, on October 24th they flew this plane at 47,000 feet to get good images of Comet Ison to try and figure out what kind of debris field and prickles it was shedding and the amount of it and all the above so they knew um, pretty much what it consisted of its chemi chemistry makeup uh, what it was shedding so let me clarify a few things a lot of people are saying that we're not going to go through the tail of Comet Ison so I'll bring you over here to solar system scope and what I mean when I say we're going to go through Common Ison's tail, it doesn't mean that we're going to go through the exact tail of its actual. Watch, I'll push this in play in motion. And as you see, we never actually go through the, the permanent tail. So let me rewind it and show you what I mean by that. Now see as it crosses the Earth's orbit path right here, I'll pause it, move around a little bit. The Earth is going to be coming around its path and it's going to cross where Ison was. Now you see the date is November 9th here. Now what's going to happen is Ison comes around to perihelion and that's fine. Where, you, where I see the problem at is I'll scroll over here a little bit more is when watch the earth see as it comes into the path of where Ison was common Ison was mid-January right there it crosses right where Ison was so we're gonna hit that entire debris that Ison left as this close approach to the Sun right there there's the pass of Ison as it approaches the Sun before perihelion now after now that's not a problem no big, no big deal because Ison's gonna exit the problem is is the earth passing through what was there what it leaves behind and why is NASA doing this? Why are they searching this? And why are they looking in infrared? There's a reason behind it. They know that there's a possibility of something dramatic happening. And here's a simulation of the Earth passing through. This is one of my videos. Here is a simulation that uh, a Paul Weigart did that's simulating the earth going through actual ice and tail as you see here right there now what is, what is that going to consist of we don't know it consists of a lot large particles meteors meteor shower all the above um, many comets contain um, gases, ammonia, 
ammonia oxide, a couple other gases that are toxic, which can cause uh, the atmosphere to turn red, blood moon red. There's multiple things that um, have gone on back in the future. That's why ancients think as uh, comets as harbingers of death because every time they've, they've been seen in the nighttime sky, they bring death and plague. You know, this is something that people need to look at. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you a few things on that 333 year cycle. And three cycles ago, on this is three cycles ago, 999 years ago, 1014, 1014 AD, an impact causes an Atlantic tsunami which may have caused an end to the Aztec Empire. The, Aztec, the Aztec, Angel Saxon of Chronicles states that the, in England in 1040 AD, even Michael St. September 24th, 28th, 14, 1014 AD, there was a big tsunami, which a, uh, caused a tsunami. Could have been a meteor and or a tsunami, but it caused great havoc. And as you can read in this article, Right here in 1014, it shows that there was a great cometary impact in the Atlantic Ocean that caused a great tsunami in the Atlantic, and it actually affected Europe. It's right there. It's all documented in the Angel Saxton Chronicles in 1014 AD. I mean, there's other things you can look at. Um, got a few more links here. For instance, okay, let's go 333 years further. That'll bring us to the year 1347. 1347 is 333 years from 1014. There was the Great Comet, which caused the Black Death and the plague in Europe, where about 300 million people died alone in Europe. And it was the precursor to them seeing a great comet or comets in the sky at the two o'clock region in the sky in late 1347 which also coincides with the 333 year cycle which is 666 years ago is 330, 1337 so I mean that could now that's two events that I just don't see being a coincidence so let's go a little bit further and then we got the great comet of 1680 I'm not posting any links for this but I'm gonna post a lot of links below but the great comet of 1680 was one of the greatest comets of the uh, 20th century it was seen by the entire world and it was a spectacular comet and it was documented in multiple regions of the world it did not cause much havoc and the reason I think it didn't cause much havoc is because it was the earth was not that necessarily on the same side of the approach of this comet so in other words every time this 333 year cycle occurs it depends on which side the earth and or any planet is on wherever the rotation of these planets may be while this cycle of this planet uh, this comet occurs it affects it differently every time so when this this, this comet and or comets or great comet as you want to call it comes in it is a different effect on the earth and other planets each in that individual time because it depends on where the location of Earth, Mars, Venus, just for example, where their location is, if they're on the far side, it's not going to affect them as much. Now, if they're on the near side of this comet um, trajectory, it definitely influenced them a lot more, which I think took place in the 1014 crossing, which is significant, which called the Atlantic Tsunami. Big, big influence. 
1347 maybe was not as significant, but we did pass through the cometary tail of it, which caused the meter in um, the Great Plague, which means we passed through the tail and it, and it caused uh, the, these uh, meteorites and the bubonic plague that came through and down from the cometary debris which a comet you gotta realize a comet brings debris from outside our solar system which is so far and so vast that we here on earth are protected by our magnetosphere and atmosphere that we're not introduced to these things on a regular basis so with these outside things being influenced and brought in by these comets it can have a major influence on us as human beings and our everyday life as far as our uh, food sources our plant life it can influence them all and cause mass havoc and death I hate to say it but this is true things that people need to think about and realize and I don't think everybody's realizing the true thing of, of what these comets can bring to earth and that like I said earlier is there there's a reason that their comets have been known for millennia now to be harbingers of death it's because they bring outside elements that are not known to uh, ground-based earth it's we're just not immune to them so it causes uh, plagues and havoc and, and and it's just not we don't know how to deal with them <clears throat> and so let me show you something else other interesting is now you're looking at the, the great comet of 1680 which is documented on JPL and look at that there's comet ice and same date right now November 20 22nd 2013 and look side by side they're almost identical so I find that more than a coincidence to say the least um, they're just those things just help collaborate what I'm trying to say and get out there they're just coincidental no I don't think so but this is something that people need to look into um, I've been trying to say it and after I released my video on August 13th I have noticed this this um, PDF file was released which I'll put up put all links below all links below this also coincides with my 333 year cycle he calls it return of the comet it's by Frank Huger Beats if that's his real name <laughs> and it, it, it gets into detail on this cycle and it, it also speaks upon the 333 year interval and right there um, I'll post a link to this PDF there's two PDFs actually and it goes into detail on all this and it backs up everything I'm saying it came out a couple weeks after I released my first 333 year cycle video so I hope this will get you guys to understand and look and see what's really going on this also doesn't even real make people realize the significance of uh, how do Illuminati look at 333 as a uh, uh, Masonic symbol and 33 degree Masons and what I'm saying is they I think they know what's going on there's a reason for the FEMA coffins and there has to be something going on there's no way that they could tell us about a calamity that's going to be coming to earth as far as being a 333 year cycle they could never tell us they would if they told us that were that there was going to be a, a comet that would come in and wipe out one third, which I think possibly through a plague, or I don't think it's going to hit. It's not going to anything is going to hit. There may be some meteors and and whatnot, but I'm more concerned about the plague and, and the stuff that's carried in the debris field that we're going to pass through. They could never tell us that because it would cause mass havoc, um, mass civil unrest, to say the least. It would be catastrophic. So. Um, I hope I, you guys understand what I'm saying, where I'm coming from, and I will definitely make sure I post all the links to all this below, and I will try and do a follow-up video as soon. I'm happy to finally be up and running with a new laptop. I got, got a new laptop. I bought one. 
Um, so thanks. Much 